Hello, Chef here. I've got another recipe for you. This is a pork sirloin tip roast, and uh, it's a two-pack. I'm going to be making this uh, roast uh, today and sharing a few things with you uh, as I go along so you can see uh, some of the things I'm using here. got the pork. I've got some fresh garlic. Oh, yeah, like garlic got some uh, cracked black peppercorns. This is uh, smoked alderwood sea salt. Wow, really strong, full flavor. Fresh ground black pepper, some more sea salt, and uh, I'm also going to be using some of these fresh green peppercorns. Yeah, I like pepper. So this is kind of a peppered pork, but it's going to be stuffed with uh, uh, garlic and I'll show you some tricks moving right along here. Okay for this roast preparation you want to uh, check out the muscles and of the roast which way they run. And you want to remove any of the silver skin that you can. Uh, by the way I'm using a really sharp little uh, Porsche Turbo uh, this is designed by F.A. Porsche, just like the cars, really, really nice. This is the sharpest knife made in Germany right now, and you can learn more about that at the sponsor. Of course, uh, we'll be putting some links in during this video. You want to remove this silver skin. doesn't taste good. It's like chewing rubber bands. So uh, we're going to remove that all the way around here and then uh, get started on the uh, recipe. So... A small knife like this is important. It's razor, razor sharp, and I'm removing the bare minimum. I don't want to waste a lot of meat. Uh, meat's expensive, as you know, so I want to keep the meat in the uh, in the roasting pan and get the scraps uh, into some stock or just discard them either way. Also good for critters if you have uh, animals. There's nothing wrong with sharing a little meat with them. Okay, this one's looking good. And I'll move on to the other one here. Oh yeah, look at all that right there. Remove this silver skin. A uh, small knife lets you get right underneath like this. Very, very easy. You want to remove all of that that you can. So it's not easy to chew. Okay. There's a big piece right there. I want to get that out of there. Uh-huh. Okay, by the way, I'm preheating my oven at 400 degrees, and I'm going to uh, be roasting this after I prep it out. Got some uh, interesting uh, tips and techniques I'm going to share with you on this, this video here. Okay, there we go. Looking good. Uh, also, any chunks of fat should get removed. And uh, the more you pay for pork, Generally, the better quality you're going to get. You buy the really, really cheap stuff, it's tons of fat and gristle in there. This is pretty nice. It's pretty lean. I like it. Scrap, very, very minimal. Maybe uh, one and a half ounces right here. So I'll be right back. Okay, the next step on this recipe is going to be working with the garlic. Uh, I like to go fast, and I like a lot of garlic in some of my recipes. Like this one, I'm going to be using the whole. So the easiest way to do this, once you separate your pieces, the easiest way is going to be uh, using uh, Thor's mallet one of these big massive hammers. I think I showed you this in some other videos. Uh, it pays to follow along and check out the channel. There's quite a few other different roasts and pork recipes. Search pork chops, search pork tenderloin, search pork recipes on this channel. Uh, real easy, you subscribe right down here 
And then by searching, you're going to find all kinds of other cool recipes that we've released over the last few years. So uh, the recipes keep going. Here we go. Just a little tap like this. Okay, there's my garlic and there's my scraps. Scraps get reserved, put them in a stock bag, so you're gonna save them for later. That's how we do it in a professional kitchen and that's the way I'm teaching you. So you save all of your scraps. By the way, I'm not all done with the garlic, close. In this particular recipe, we're gonna be eating these big chunks and you don't wanna hit any of these little, little uh, toes or hard spots on the bottom so we want to continue to remove on each piece you want to remove that little hard spot to do it garlic's beautiful ready to go okay so I'm going to uh, get moving on this pork show you some of these uh, tips, techniques on this recipe, it's going to be uh, pretty easy. And here we go. I'm using a roasting pan. Uh, let's just call it a 9 by 11. I'm not certain. I lined it with a piece of parchment paper. That's where my pork's going. All right, so on this particular uh, recipe, I'm going to be using the uh, paring knife and poking some holes in here. And we're going to uh, we're going to put the garlic inside the pork, as well as some basil and some of the pepper. So we got a lot of things happening here all at once. Uh, basil is fresh from the garden, really, really nice. Oh yeah, look at that fresh basil. It's looking really good. Got a bunch of pieces, <clears throat> and I plan to just put the basil and the garlic right inside. So here we go. We're going to po poke some holes in various spots. We're going to put a piece of basil and a piece of garlic and some of these green peppercorns right into the hole. Wedge it right in there. Oh yeah. Okay, repeat. Garlic, basil, one or two peppercorns. Uh-huh. All the way around. Well, if your uh, garlic is too big, there's nothing wrong with trimming it in half. Now you got two. Uh, garlic, basil, peppercorn, just like this. All right, right into the hole. Oh, yeah. Feels good. There we go. Just like that. Okay, the pork's looking really good, and it's just about ready for the oven. I'm going to show you the uh, last step, what I'm going to do here. I like to put the pork in the roasting pan first, uh, clean off my workspace. I've got a damp towel here. This maple is beautiful. You just wipe it off and you're good to go. There's no scrubbing, there's no detergents, it doesn't go to the sink. It's natural and it kills germs. Okay, so now you can see what I got going on here move this camera around a little bit. I'm going to uh, work in and manipulate the, uh, the other seasonings. Once again we've got uh, some cracked black pepper. I'm going to put it on the top and the bottom as well as some of this smoked alderwood sea salt. Uh, yeah, look at that. And a little more pepper why not? So now we've actually got three kinds of pepper here. Yeah, a lot of pepper going on. And uh, we're going to do the bottom as well. But before I do that, I want to tell you one more thing. And you, of course, with something like this, you're roasting meat. You want a little fat on there. So I've got some extra virgin olive oil. 
a little bit. Yeah, just like this. By the way, I added a whole truffle to my extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, truffle oil. Extra flavor. I love it. Same thing on the bottom. Let's repeat this process. Looking good. These roasts are really nice looking. Bottom side, they're looking really good. Now this is going in the oven uh, at 400 degrees Fahrenheit till it gets brown. I'll be back. Or you were making two-tone cream of butternut squash soup. Oh, yeah.